Good morning and welcome to my day in the life as a dog mom of two golden retrievers. So we wake up around six in the morning, the girls have to sleep with their snuggle puppies, and the first thing that we do is eat. So I get my breakfast started. I always have scrambled eggs with cheese and then I get their breakfast for them. They eat Royal Cannon for adult golden retrievers. They clearly eat like vacuums, which is why they eat out of slow feeder bowls. While they're eating, I finish up my breakfast and get started on some work. Going through some emails from the day before, and once I'm done eating, we have a nice snuggle sesh on the couch to start the day. While I am working on some emails, the girls will play and hang out, I'll take my vitamins, and then I take the girls out to go potty for the first time of the day. Push. Koba is excellent about going outside to go potty. She goes right away. Okay, all done. But Larcy, not so much. She likes to pull and spin in circles 15 times before she finds the right spot, and then she'll finally go. Okay. Once they come back in the house, I always make them get their paws wiped off. So once I get all their paws wiped, then I will brush their teeth and then focus on my teeth and my eye drops. <laughs> my husband and I do sleep with two separate blankets because I sleep like a tornado. Did you see that excellent uh, transition getting into my scrub clothes? Then I turn on some cartoons for the girls. Usually they watch Bluey Love you so or much. Paw Patrol. Love you so much. girl. I love you so much. Good girl. And then I had to work. If you do not know, I am a registered dental hygienist and today was thankfully a half day so I only had to work for a few hours. Then once I get back home, I immediately go fill up the girls' food bowls so that they can eat their lunch. Hi puppies. Hi. Ooh, big stretch. If you know me, I've never really been a huge lunch person, so this is the time that I drink my ketones. I have been drinking the Berry Blue since it came out, and I'm obsessed with it. It's so good. Now it's time to sit down and take a look at my to-do list and highlight the top five priorities. So the top five things on my priority list for today is to rough draft some pitches, send to brands, finish or at least work on my website, plan out YouTube videos, plan out reels, and to figure out what we're gonna do for a giveaway. We recently hit 10,000 subscribers on here and I still have not done the giveaway for it. I did post some polls on Instagram and I appreciate all of your feedback. It has been super helpful. I am going to take the girls outside real quick to go potty and then I'm going to start working on my to do list. I forgot that I needed an infograph to go up next to keep up with my Instagram feed, so I finished up that and then just finished up some YouTube shorts that I had uploaded from YouTube Reels as well. And then I finished another reel in CapCut to go up. Hey girls, I have a very important question. Do you want to go to the dog park or do you want to go for a walk? Walk? Okay, let's go for a walk. Um, let's take this one. 
So I always walk them on their easy walk harnesses because they will walk in four wheel drive. These make a world of a difference. And the only other thing that I put on them is ID collars. This is Larcy's. This is Koba's. So I'm gonna use this fanny pack today just because I don't have any pockets in these pants. So I'm going to need some extra room for my keys and my phone. It's not super hot out. It's only 70. I think literally at this point, half of my wardrobe is Peloton apparel. I have gotten and probably $2,000 worth of Peloton apparel for free. All I have to pay is the $7 for shipping. So huge thank you to you guys. All of this apparel is all because of you and I love it. So I hope that you love your Peloton as much as I love mine. Needy girls are ready to go on their walk. So let's get going. Girls ready? Usually on my walks, I will call my mom. So it is so much easier, especially walking two dogs, to use my AirPods. <laughs> they saw a squirrel. We got back from our walk and the girls took a little nap. We didn't go too far, we did a mile and a half. I have been working on our website for what feels like literally days straight. I have never built a website on this platform before and it is way more complicated and difficult than any other one that I have ever tried or used before. If you want to see a little sneak peek of the website so far, here you go. It will pull up all of this good stuff and then I actually put our Amazon must-haves into each of our individual pages instead of just doing like our Amazon storefront in general. There's some videos of Larcy and just her Amazon favorites and then I did the same thing for Koba, just about Koba. And if you're someone who follows me for my ketone situation, there is a plugin so that you can shop my Equit account right on my website. I am a single mom for a few days. My husband is out of town and usually we are bad on Fridays and we order out. So I was trying to debate if I should make chicken for dinner or if I should continue the tradition and be bad because it's Friday and I decided I'm gonna be bad. If you are obsessed with breakfast like me, you can just go on to Bob Evans com and they will door dash it to your house even if you don't have a door dash account. The girls are due for their heartworm tick and glee medication so I am going to give that to them. They take some paracatrio. Every fourth Friday I have a notification in my phone to remind me that they need to take their meds. It must taste good too because they never fight me on taking it. This is what it comes in. The 44.1 to 88 pound range. This is the highest weight range that they have for some paracatrio. I do have a Zoetis account. So basically anytime that I purchase the Simperica Trio, I go onto my Zoetis account and type in where I got it from, how much I paid for it, what was the purchase date, and they will redeem me $25 off every six pack that I get. So a six pack for me obviously only lasts three months since I have two dogs. It is $160 for six chewable tablets, which for me basically means that it is $160 every three months. Let's wash it down. Dude, I don't know what is up with this lens, but it is driving me insane. I'm so sorry if the quality of this video is absolutely horrendous. I scheduled my food to get here at 6.15 and I was going to take my work upstairs on the balcony. I love going up there anyways because the girls just love to like sit out there, I try to do as much as I can to include them in whatever it is that I'm doing. Both of you, stay.
This is all for just myself. I always order extra pancakes for the next day. So I'm going to work on this and this first and then I'll work on the pancakes and then we'll save pancakes for tomorrow. And then we will also work on the fruit. I think I did a little bit too much cheese. That's okay, we like cheese, we'll live. So I'm gonna put the rest of this stuff in the fridge for now. We get this huge bag from Sam's Club, so it lasts for like ever, which is fantastic. I always use pure maple syrup. That is my personal favorite. But in the meantime, I'm going to start with this. I got my water and we're gonna find a little show to watch. So while I may be working literally all day long, I do schedule several breaks throughout the day so that way I don't go completely crazy and I'm still able to have some sort of a work-life balance. I got two reels done, edited, I uploaded one. I have three YouTube videos outlined. Everything my dogs have, 2022 update. I've done this video in 2020, 2021, and now in 2022, and you guys always seem to enjoy it every year, so I'm just gonna make it a tradition. And then a day in the life as a work working dog momager, like a manager for my dogs on social media, talking about all the behind the scene things that I don't really show or talk about but really consumes the vast majority of my life in reality and that's like all the researching and the batching and collabs and emails messages reaching out to brands sending out pitches sending out proposals writing out scripts making a list of b-roll shots making graphics that's a whole other world other video that i outlined is how to prepare for a therapy dog visit as a therapy dog handler i wanted to figure out the giveaway and rough draft some pitches to send out which I basically have. I'm trying to decide what I want to watch. I already have caught up on the challenge so basically I am cheating on my husband. I'm making a tripod. I'm using the remote because we watched the challenge together and he didn't watch last week's episode or this week's episode and I did. I just got HBO Max. I love trash reality dating shows and since Love Island isn't out yet and Temptation Island is over I've been trying to fulfill my void by watching F Boy Island <laughs> so we finished dinner, got a bunch of good couch snuggles in. It's time to take them out to go potty again and then get them some dinner. And then by then my stomach should be well settled from dinner and I'm gonna go down and ride my Belladon. Good girl, Lars. Oh my freaking pants, oh my gosh. There's the ball that they lost on the balcony. Leave it, we'll get it on the way back. Okay. Get the ball, let's go. Come on. I have this little barricade set up here so that way when they're running and playing, hopefully their ball doesn't roll back there. Our dehumidifier needs emptied in the basement like twice a day in the summertime. While I'm riding, the girls always come down here with at least their ball, if not a few toys. This was all cleared out just so that they had a place to kind of hang out while I'm on my bike. guys want some dinner? Do you want some food? Any tips? Okay, you want some food? Okay, let's get some food. And now that they both have to be seated and they have to wait until I tell them that they can G-O before they G-O. Stay. Cop supper. Grandma. Gopher. Georgia. Grandpa, go. I almost got you guys.
gotta get every last drop. So I purposely scheduled today to be a recovery day just because I knew I was gonna be filming and that everything was going to take longer than it typically should. I am going to go take a bath. This is not the kind of bath that I meant by the way. <laughs> I'll be right back, babies. We do have a full shower downstairs as well, but I've never ever used it in the three years that we've lived here because it's one of the skinny ones and I want space to like move around. I am going to get their teeth brushed, their hair brushed, and their paw balm on before I finish up a few things work-wise and get myself ready for bed. is definitely the longest part and their least favorite part. Now we're gonna do some paw soother. So I gotta get them on their back for this and then they have to get in a position where they can stay for a couple minutes afterwards so it actually has time to absorb into their paws before they walk it off or start licking it off. I definitely do not enjoy this part either. It's okay. It's okay. Good so I just put some on their paws and then I'll take my finger and rub it in. And make her stay like that. Stay. Stay. Do not move. Stay. Now I will have Larcy stay like this for a couple minutes. All right, so it's been like seven minutes. So I think I'm going to release them. Oh yeah, it's definitely dry. Okay. Good girls, good girls. I grab their puppies. There's Koba's. And Larcy's. All right, good night, guys. <laughs>